Emissions also go down. Factories are using less electricity. There are fewer trucks and planes shipping goods and people. And that's exactly what happened after the financial crisis of 2008. Carbon dioxide emissions plummeted. They've been bouncing up and down since then, but last year the economy was on a roll. Output was up. And now an estimate by the Rhodium Group, an independent research firm, shows that CO2 emissions were way up. It appears, based on preliminary data, that emissions in the U.S. grew by the highest rate since uh, 2010 when we were recovering from the Great Recession. Trevor Hauser is an author of the new estimate. He says carbon dioxide emissions are up roughly 3.4 percent over last year. The big drivers were increases in electricity demand, which burns natural gas and coal, and big growth in trucking and aviation. All those Amazon packages, all those holiday vacations. That come with a booming economy. Now, there were some areas where decisions by government and industry made a difference. A record number of coal-fired power plants closed in 2018, and emissions from passenger automobiles dropped slightly due to better fuel economy standards. But it was not enough, and Hauser wants more aggressive policies to drive down CO2. That seems unlikely for now. Policies to limit greenhouse gas emissions started under the Obama administration are now being halted and even reversed under President Trump. What we've seen is backsliding in federal policy, and we're starting to feel the effects of that now. So, is Hauser rooting for another recession to bring emissions down again? I, <laughs> I am not. I am not. Short-term emissions decline as a result of a recession is not something anyone's cheering for. What's I am is a strong economy and the right incentives to invest in green technologies. Oh, yeah. Jeff Brumfield, NPR News. Yes, the, uh, the, little, the little lefties, at least they're talking about something other than uh, the, the fucking wall. Uh, they're, they, they took, what was that? And we just missed the first few seconds. What was that? They took two minutes out of their I've been listening to NPR for over eight hours, uh, and they found two minutes to talk about CO2 emissions, and then repeating what I think is the big fat lie that there was some sort of leveling off of CO2 emissions for three years. Now their point is, and. Uh, you know, who the fuck knows? I, I personally don't believe it, but what the point they're making is that, uh, you know, it was the downturn in the economy that uh, as economic activity decreases, no shit Sherlock, uh, when your economy is a global industrial economy and when economic activity uh, decreases, you are going to see a decrease in, uh, in, in greenhouse gas emissions. So, I mean, this sounds pretty logical. And so, I, you know, guys, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I've never completely ruled that out. Uh, I take the, all of that with a big grain of salt. But let, let's, let's say for argument that it is true. Uh, tr true or not, the, the fact is that uh, CO2 emissions are, are skyrocketing. They're claiming 3.4% here in the U.S. Uh, last year, my guess is probably more than that. Uh, they're, they're claiming it's because the economy was so much healthier well you, well, you heard the report, there are reasons for it, but, but once again, th they wrap up. So here's this fucking little uh, limp dick, little mainstream environmentalist, whoever that little twerp was they were talking about. Uh, you know, the, the guy almost jokingly asking him, so, <laughs> do, you do you support, uh, do you support? A, an economic recession to bring down greenhouse gases? And, 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 and of course, uh, the answer was fuck no. Uh, I would never, I would never support uh, bringing down economic growth for the interest of the planet. That, uh, if, if the choice is between 
uh, the economy stupid or the planet, uh, I'm going to choose the economy that, uh, that we're going to do these, these green jobs so we can have an economy and a planet. Uh, you know, this is just one more example that it makes no fucking difference. Uh, the right or the left, whether it, it, it's fucking uh, Glenn Beck or Rush Limbaugh or Alex Jones talking over there on the, you know, on the right side of the dial, as it were, or goddamn uh, these little limp dicks, spineless, mainstream uh, environmentalists over there at, at, at fucking NPR. Uh, talking about their goddamn green jobs. Nobody is going to choose uh, is going to choose the planet over an ever-growing economy. Uh, just the very th mention, the very thought that anyone would suggest degrowth. Uh, as a cure to our environmental ills uh, it is going to be branded a, a fucking whack job eco-Nazi. I just had a uh, long interview with uh, this fellow Dave Gardner uh, from Growth Busters yesterday that I'm going to be putting out on Collapse Chronicles on January 20th. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, in his uh, documentary, Growth Busters, which you can, I think you have to go over to Vimeo.com and pay a couple of bucks for it, uh, he, you know, talking about this, he has this hilarious little thing uh, in the middle of it, Economist Gone Wild. Uh, you know, it's, we're, we're, we're completely fucked. It makes no the, the no difference what side of the political spectrum you're on. You know he has video clips of Obama. Uh, you know the little god of NPR. Uh, you know cheering on uh, that the number one object of this country is to bring up is to increase economic growth, which is another way of saying the number one priority. Of, uh, of this government and of this economy and, and, uh, and the government and the, and, and the goddamn corporate overlords that they answer to, it is to just continue the prom to promoting the god of endless fucking growth. Uh, infinite growth on a finite planet. It, it is drilled into our brains, you know, from the fucking moment we're born right, you know, to the day we die. Uh, as, as Dave Gardner says, it is the, re the new religion of the clueless fucking morons. Uh, it, 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 it is the religion. Uh, that endless growth on a finite planet uh, is, is the mantra uh, from the left to the right, uh, everybody in between, from the U.S. to fucking China, uh, everybody in between is drill, baby, drill, put the fucking pedal to the metal. Uh, and, and you wonder why we're completely, totally fucked. Uh, but thank you, NPR, for taking two minutes out of your wall-to-wall -wall coverage, as it were, to uh, coin a phrase, wall-to-wall -wall coverage on the single biggest fucking distraction uh, in, in the news. Uh, in Donald Trump's uh, career, pretty much. Uh, the, 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 this fucking wall, uh, which is absolute manna from heaven to all of these goddamn planet eaters, uh, you know, going full steam ahead with, with their goddamn plans 
to, uh, you know, to destroy this planet, uh, you know, to worship the god of endless growth on a finite planet. Uh, you know, while, while all these clueless fucking morons are hiding, by, are, 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 you know, hiding behind this distraction of this fucking wall, and it goes without saying, that, that, that in eight hours of wall-to-wall -wall coverage on fucking NPR, the little limp dick uh, lefty network, uh, you know, not one word, not one single word has been mentioned about the, envi the environmental devastation caused by this wall. Everything from monarch butterflies to Mexican wolves and jaguars getting fucked uh, by this wall uh, is nowhere mentioned uh, in, in this wall-to-wall -wall coverage by these fucking little limp dick lefties. Uh, you know, I, I, I am more embarrassed for the left uh, what's left of the left in this shithole country than I am, uh, and that I'm embarrassed by the right. Uh, I mean, you expect this shit from those clueless fucking morons uh, over there on the on the right side of the dial, but uh, but hearing this shit, uh, or or not hearing this shit as the case may be, uh, from NPR makes me want to fucking puke. Anyway, I got to get back to spewing my carbon emissions uh, to do my part for the collapse of a planet. So I need to get back because I'm to the wall to wall coverage of the wall. Bye, guys.